بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على خير المرسلين ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم أما بعد So let's talk inshallah today about some fiqh elements related to Ramadan some elements related to the fiqh of Ramadan to the uh, rules of Ramadan uh, I, I'm going to base myself on a traditional Maliki fiqh text called Al Mursid Al Mu'in. Uh, can be translated as a helping guide or the guiding helper or something like this. It's a traditional text uh, studied in all North and West Africa. There are fasts which are obligatory. And those are five. For, uh, first of all, fasting during the month of Ramadan. Second, making up any days of Ramadan missed by any reasons. So to make up the obligatory fast is also obligatory. Fasting due to a, an expiation. For crimes that demand expiation, such as intentionally not fasting during Ramadan or an, uh, having killed a human being and intentionally by accident. Fourth, to vow by Allah to perform a fast, such as saying by Allah, for example, by Allah tomorrow I will fast then fasting becomes obligatory. And five, by pro pronouncing dhihar against one's wife. The dhihar is when one equates one's wife with a family member with whom you, a person cannot get married. For example, if you say to your wife, you are for me like my mother or like my sister, meaning that I will not have sexual intercourse with, with you. If, if he wants to again have sexual intercourse with his wife, he has to uh, obligatorily fast two consecutive lunar months. There are fasts which are mandub or uh, recommended, like to fast during the month of Rajab, to fast during the month of Ram Ram uh, Shaban, and to fast the whole month of Muharram, but especially the 10th of Muharram, the day of Ashura, and the first nine days of Dhul Hijjah, and especially the ninth day, or day of Arafah, except for the people who are performing the pilgrimage of Hajj. And then any voluntarily, vol only voluntary fast, in Arabic, nafila, which, which a person can day any day, except the days when it is not allowed to fast. Fasting during the month of Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam, and anyone who denies its obligation, whoever who says fasting is not obligatory, that person is not a Muslim. The obligatory elements of fasting are five. First, to make one's intention to fast between Maghrib and Fajr means the intention to the, the intention to fast should be done between Maghrib sunset and the beginning of the day at dawn if the intention is made after Fajr that day is invalid according to the Maliki Madhab there are other Madhabs which have a different uh, regulation, but as I said, we're going to stick to the Maliki Madhab. To avoid all sexual acts, the fast is not broken, though, because of a wet dream during day's daytime sleep. So if a person has a nap, and he has a wet dream, and has uh, experiences and uh, 
uh, sexual arousal during that dream and, and uh, ejaculates or has an orgasm, that element does not break his fast because it, it was out of his uh, uh, control. Third, to avoid eating, drinking and smoking. It's important to know that swallowing one's own saliva or phlegm does not break the fast. Fourth, to avoid intentional vomiting. Not vomiting, intentionally vomiting. Something that provokes, to, to provoke a, a vomit to ourself, ourselves, either by physical methods or taking any kind of medicine. That breaks the fast. An intentional vomiting does not break the fast. And to avoid anything entering the stomach or passing the throat, through the nose, eyes or ears. So, we should be careful when swimming. In fact, people should not swim in the sea or swimming pool during Ramadan because it's very, very easy to swallow water. So we have to... This is very important for the people to know. And also when they do wudu, they should sniff the water gently, not strongly, because the water can go through up to their uh, uh, throat and swallow it. And also avoid using uh, drops in their eyes or uh, kohol, because that can go through the conducts, through the eye, up to the throat. In fact, if you have, uh, uh, many people may have experience, uh, had the experience that using a drops and then feeling the taste of the a drops in the throat, is because there's it's communicated between the eyes, uh, and and the throat. There is there, there are conducts and, and a communication. So that should be avoided during fasting. 